people this is Carla with your jammies I feel it's been so long since I got 10 minutes to just sit here and be able to do anything for my YouTube channel I'm usually on my Instagram page um, because I don't do makeup or try to get kind of ready but YouTube feels so permanent so anyway I digress I was going to unbox a couple of stuff that I have uh, but honestly I've been promising you guys that I will show you the shelves and I'm gonna do a shelf tour for so long and I wanted to do it as soon as the year started and now we're halfway through February and I'm like you know what you're about to change the whole shelves you're about to add so much more stuff to the collection and you haven't done a shelf tour last one that I did was in January of last year so anyway I want to get to it I want to do that I want to show you the things that I have and give you tips on where to find the stuff so let's get right to it okay so the brick wall is a project that my dad and my husband took in like five hours before he had to catch a plane to Puerto Rico where he lives I was like that I'm gonna go buy some wallpaper to Lowe's and uh, I need you and Carlos which is my husband to put it together so they were so sweet put it right away some bricks wouldn't match and I was like I don't care it's probably not gonna be there forever so I just wanted it to you know be able to see it and I know with how busy our lives is with four kids my husband wasn't gonna be able to do it by himself so I was like I just want to you know make sure my dad can help him before he leaves so this is something that happened here for like a month we did it a little before or a little after New Year's and was that after New Year's no it was right before New Year's anyway um, and then the shelves are here. I don't know if you guys remember a year ago the shelves used to be in this wall So I really like the shelves being in that wall, but I Really wanted because the windows are right here So when I was recording stuff or just in general the collection looked better in this wall now for future goals I'm thinking of just putting shelves from floor to ceiling kind of like built-ins in both walls because in my mind it feels very busy and messy so i just want to because i have right now as you guys can see i have like shelves that space in between that open shelf from ikea which has worked wonders um but it feels like three different things going on instead of one single bookshelf that looks clean so in my mind, it's time for something new. <laughs> a lot of people are like, Carla, you're always changing your stuff, but that's just how I roll. So I'm thinking of just putting one bookshelf and it will also fix this situation that we encounter. If you are on our Instagram community, you know that after I moved everything from this wall and I put it here, I realized that this one wouldn't fit and it doesn't fit for just a little bit. And people were like, cut the shelf cut the wall i'm like i'm not cutting anything you guys i'm not damaging the wall for this and i'm probably gonna sell that shelf after i get like tired of it so i didn't want to damage it so i just left it tilted and it has worked so far but i'm looking like for the next setup i'm going to do i'm looking into just having one ceiling to floor shelf that is flush to the wall and it looks really neat so get excited with me but let, let's do this shelf tour Okay, so this wall, you guys can see I have the Marauders map that I added not too long ago. I got the Fantastic Beasts ones, the Dumbledore's Army. I got that Daily Profit from a Joy box. I got this Albus Dumbledore uh, frame. I got the frame from Amazon and I got the illustration from a book. I just got it from the book. Uh, this Ollivander's one display is from AQR Creations. I put this one here because my son kept touching it. And I was like, nope, do not touch this wand. Um, not quite sure where I'm going to put it yet. So this mirror, let me say hi to you guys. Hi. So this mirror I found on Facebook Marketplace not too long ago. I found it for $2.50. It retails for $4.69. 469 is a generally cabinet. Um, it retails 469 in the Pottery Barn page. So it was basically, if you pay shipping and taxes, it was like half off. So I highly recommend looking in Facebook Marketplace. 
Um, I got my Pick Me Pops, which unfortunately have been discontinued from the Universal Wizardly World. I got the Sorting Hat from Build a Bear. These are the Nifflers, little baby Nifflers from Fantastic Beasts. Okay, so I got my trunk from the Harry Potter New York store. I got this Hedwig from Build a Bear as well. And I put a little message for my kids. Let me see if you guys can hear it. So I'm hoping that, you know, my kids will be able to keep this head wig, I don't know, forever. Um, this is the little cushions that my brother gifted me two years ago. It's not actually licensed, but it's a really cool dupe. Um, this chocolate frog pillow was from Target. I didn't see it available anywhere else. And this golden egg is from also Pony Barn, also sold out. A big thing that I added to my collection this year is the Nimbus 2000 from Cine Replicas. I bought it secondhand. I love it. And I have these pillows here because I have no couch anymore in the collection uh, or in the room. Another thing that I found in Facebook Marketplace was this electric fireplace. Um, it actually heats up the room if I wanted to or it just lights up. It's really, really cool and I only paid $100 for it. Um, I got my Mandrake from Pottery Barn Teen. This one is Hedwig from the Noble Collection. This letter that actually has my name and address. I got my acceptance letter. Um, this is the Pottery Barn, I don't know if it's Teen or Pottery Barn Kids, Hogwarts Snow Globe. It was on sale, so it's just sitting here now. I got these bookends um, from a personal chopper from Universal um, in California. I think they're out of stock. I'm not quite sure they're ever restocking them. A little ticket to Platinum 9 and 3 quarters. This is actually a ring box. Like you can put a ring inside. Um, I got this ornament. I only got the Gryffindor one because whoop, whoop, Gryffindor pride. So I just display it. I'm going to be displaying it all year long. A uh, chocolate frog and Doby from the Harry Potter New York store. This one I got on eBay. The seller still has it. This one was made by the Magical Blonde. She is really crafty. I am not. I really appreciate you, Stephanie. Uh, my clock from Mother's Magic Co. And then we have the Hogwarts Express sign that I got for 15 bucks in Barnes and Nobles. It's available in the Noble Collection website. Um, my Hedwig mirror is from Pottery Barn Teen as well. I got it on sale. Um, I got it like $100 cheaper than what it's going on, uh, going off right now in the website. And here we have a couple of, this is the remote I use to light up my shelves. Okay, so here we have a couple of Cornish Pixies with my Lee Joy, Molly Weasley, and Arthur Weasley fam. And my Noble Collection Marauders map. What else do we have here? Okay, that's all we have here. Then we have the Gryffindor sword, which was my birthday gift. This beautiful illustration. I'm going to link the Instagram of the artist in my description. Here we have my Weasley pin collection. Um, this last year, I decided to just collect Weasley pins for the sake of space and money because fantasy pins are not cheap. They are amazing. But I decided to, you know, make it a little bit more specific to the Weasleys. And I love it. And then we got the Nocturne Alley sign that Hot Topic had this year. And let me fix this real quick. It has a little... There we go. And then we got Bellatrix Lestrange 1. Okay, here I have the Mina Lima 1 and 2 uh, books. The butter beer from Harry Potter New York and this table which it was also from Pottery Barn Teen and is discontinued. I found it on Facebook Marketplace and I love it. I also got this pillow on sale for like $18. Um, I got it from Pottery Barn Teen. I think they unfortunately discontinued it or it's out of stock right now. Very beautiful because it just really looks like it was hand painted. I also want to mention that I found this chair for $60 on Facebook Marketplace. I love buying secondhand. And this one is available in Amazon. 
Okay, I found this one in Mercari. It's discontinued from Pony Martin from their Fantastic Beasts line. If you have seen Crimes of Grindelwald, you will remember the divination ball that Nicolas Flamel has in his house, in which him and Jacob um, see Queenie. So this is it. It's a lamp because obviously Pony Martin makes everything functional, um, but I love it as you know as a replica. This one I found in HomeSense uh, during Halloween, and my dad painted it. It's very, very um, similar to the one that Pony Martin has. This is the Interactive Collector's One for 2022. And uh, here I have the bookings from the chess game. Um, I think they're also Noble Collection, and I found them half off in Barnes & Nobles. This is a discontinued frame uh, from the undesirable number one Harry Potter, also from Noble Collection, but I found it secondhand for like $10, and I have seen a couple of listings for it for like $10, $15. This Honey Dogs is from Department 56. I wouldn't, I, this feels very messy to me, but I gotta work with the space I have right now. Um, so this is from Department 56. It actually lights up if you connect it. You guys have seen it on my Christmas Village on my Instagram page. Um, this sorting hat I got in Target back in 2016, so it's been in my collection for a lot of years. This is um, that Nimbus you see right there. It's from the Target Halloween section. And here I have the Golden Snitch that is actually a clock from Pony Martin. My Quidditch uh, glasses from Amazon. I think they're like $10. Uh, this Quidditch set was also from Amazon. And here I have my Quidditch Pops. This Quidditch pitch, I need to hold you to video on it. It's um, very, very hard to find and it's like 20 years old. Another thing that I have is this Quidditch um, Department 56 figure. If you actually connect it, Harry follows the snitch. Here we have the Triwizard Cup. This one is uh, 13 inches tall. I got it in 2016 at Target. I think it was available, and it's available in Amazon too. Um, here we have the Inesco Ron on a chest piece. And behind him, we have Hagrid's wand, which I got from Barnes and Nobles, can also be found in the Noble Collection website. Here we have the Funko train. It's a little bit derailed right now, my Hobart Express. And we got the 18 inch Harry, which is like the biggest Funko Pop I have in my collection. Here we have the Harry that was from Box Lunch Exclusive. Um, he's not available anymore, but we have a piece that is very similar to him. And here we have all my Funkos that are 10 inch. My dragon in terms of green guts and the new Diagon Alley Pops. Let me show you what I have here on top um so here i have the weasley wizard weasley's hand i got a universal and here is my lunch fly collection mixed with some exclusives and a little bit harder to find pops so i think this is the most expensive pop right now for harry potter which is the la comic con one that came with the lunch fly bag and here we have the rest of my bags. I sold the Comic Con bag because I like this one so much better. This one I found at the Harry Potter New York store. Now let's get started with the shelves. I recently added these Amazon lights, battery operated lights, and they're pretty cool. So I got this new one, Letters Harry exclusive. I got McGonagall from Inesco there. The sorting had that talks from Hallmark, another chocolate frog. The Troll is from the Magical Creatures line from Noble Collection. Same as the Stone is from Noble Collection. This one I got at, it still has some jelly beans. My son likes to eat them. Uh, I got a Universal. This one is from the Noble's Collection Magical Creature line. And the Remember Roll actually turns on. It's from Lee Joy. This book, I think it's from the 10th anniversary of the Sorcerer's Stone. I love this cover. And here we have the Diagon Alley bookends from Inesco. They actually light up. I did an unboxing on them. Let me see. Did I turn them up? Yeah. There we go. Ta-da! Love them. And the Hedwig is also from the Magical Creature Collection too. 
Then let's go to Chamber of Secrets just to stay in order. So this is one of my favorite shelves. I just added Aragog. Um, I got a lot of magical creatures here and the basilisk from Funko. My diary is handmade. It's from, not, not by me, God knows, I'm not that crafty, but I got it from an Etsy shop. Um, it was a couple of years ago, so I don't think they are open anymore. I got my Whomping Willow tree from Department 56. I got my Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets like special edition book back there. The Skelligro bottle that could be found on Books and Millions um, a while ago. I'm not quite sure they have it anymore. And my Magical Malhika Aum Petunia put in replica. So that is what makes my Chamber of Secrets shelf. Oh, I got that little basilisk fang here. So passing to Prisoner of Azkaban, let's do a little jump here. I got my Time Turner with my little monster book from uh, this little thing arrived. I didn't got it. Like it arrived as part of another package that someone sent. So I thought it was pretty cute. I would put it right there. Now that I'm thinking, where do I have my monster book? Oh, it's in Hagrid's shelf. Okay, back to Prisoner of Azkaban. Let me turn on the lights. Okay, so we got uh, Buckbeak and the Dementors are both from the Noble Collection. That, have you seen this wizard frame, picture frame, is from Universal. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. I got this little scabbers in the Harry Potter New York store. I got the Singing Frog in Universal like two years ago. This um, Marauder's Map, it's just like a fake one from Amazon. I paid like $6 for it. And this Spine um, Candle Holder is from Lee Joy. This one is from Pottery Martin. And this one is part of a Christmas set that my mom, <laughs> my mom was like, do you want this? And I'm like, yeah, it looks like a Patronus. Thank you. It's one of my favorite pieces in my collection now. Um, this one I found in Books A Million. It actually lights up, pretty cool. This one is from the Wizarding Trunk. The Bogart. Um, this one was available at a box lunch. I don't see it available anymore. It was a couple of like two years ago. This Night Boss is from Mattel and it's from like 2004. I found it on eBay. And Scabbers is also from the Noble Collection uh, Magical Creatures line. Then we go to Goblet of Fire. Let's do a little jump. Ba -bam! This is one of the busiest shelves. I got this one that lights up. It's an ornament from Pottery Barn. Unfortunately, sold out. I like it because it opens up and lights up. Um, this is the Noble Collection. I would say discontinued because in the United States it's not available, but it will be available in UK in the next couple of weeks. Um, this is from Japan, the Goblet of Fire from Japan couple of years old. I found it on eBay. And this is the one that can be found. This one is limited to 3,000 pieces. Um, and it can be found in a couple of retailers right now. The Golden Egg can be found in the Noble Collection website. The Pumpkin Juice um, was available in Universal. And I think this, they discontinued it back in 2020 or 2021. And these are also... What is this? My kids just leave stuff around. Okay, so these are also from the Noble Collection Magical Creatures. You can, you can see I have a lot of those pieces just scattered around. Um, this one was also found in the parks by a personal shopper. And I did a whole unboxing on this one. And this one is from Funko, I think from 2019. I love this Funko Pop. Like that movie moment was really well done. And you can see all these pissed off face i like it okay let's go to order of the phoenix so i got a couple of proclamations here it's a shame that i haven't like hanged them or something so you can see them um they are very well done they are by wizard alley and the three of them say a different thing love them so we got umbridge funko pop I found this um, Lucius Malfoy I have the cane it's behind the shelves um I found it on Facebook Marketplace, but you can find it in Noble Collection website. Got that little thingy, came straight from Japan. How do you call this? The Mechanical Death Eater, that's what it is. This Death Eater mask comes with a diary inside. I got it on Amazon, I think it can be found in Barnes & Nobles too. This one is from Noble Collection, and this one I got at Universal. It's a journal, it, it doesn't have anything written inside. This one I also find in Universal. Um, this Daily Profit um, door is by Wizard Alley too. 
Uh, my potions, I love these potions. Unfortunately, the person that made them um, closed shop, but I love them. And we got Bellatrix here. Let's see, Half Blood Prince. Let's do a little jump. Okay, so for Half Blood Prince, um, I got Dumbledore's knife also by Wizard Alley. I know there is a Noble Collection discontinued knife that goes for like $600. I would never spend that much on one single replica, especially something that was like three seconds on the movie. It's not happening. Um, I got Snape from Enesco. I got a couple more potions. My advanced potion making is a journal that I got at Universal. I do have the Alarm 18 version coming next year. I pre-order it this year. I got Slughorn um, replica right there. I got it from Barnes and Nobles just because I could get it with like 10%, uh, but you can find it in the Noble Collection website, the locket, and the Three Broomsticks building, which also lights up if you connect it. It's from Department 56. My Luna glasses I found in Amazon for 10 bucks. And you guys know the story of the necklace. It's like the hardest replica to find. Some person bought it for $5,000 the other day on eBay. Woof, no, I pay like $200 on Facebook Marketplace for it. And I think to this day and forever, it will be my craziest find in Facebook Marketplace. Now to the Deadly Hallows. We got um, the Horrocruxes, also from the Magical Creatures line. There's uh, Nagini. That diary is from Wizard Alley. I got the Vanishing Cabinet from Fan, uh, Fan Creations, I think is the name. I linked them on my Instagram. Um, the Tales of Beetle the Bard is also a journal. I got my Ravenclaw diadem right here. Oh, shit. And um, the glasses. Harry's glasses are just $10 Halloween glasses that just sit there. <laughs> Oh, I also have her Miami Beauty bag uh, right there. And this Deadly Hallows lamp that actually works and has been with me for like six years. So that's my Deadly Hallows uh, shelf. Now, let me show you one of my favorite ones, which is the Weasleys. I got the Burrow from Funko, the Fort Anglia from Die, Die Hard Cast, something like that. I will link it down below. Love Potion, found at Weasley Wizard Weasleys in Universal. Snow Globe from Pottery Barn. The Fort Anglia just goes around King's Cross. Pretty cool. Um, this is found in the Wizla Wizard Wizzies too. Flu powder is handmade. I get my puking pastels and bubble boy bookends that I think will go back to the UK Noble Collection. You can check if they are available for pre-order. They were not that long ago. This is also found at the Universal Store. And this lights up if you connect it. It's from Department 56 as well. Now we go to Hagrid's shelf. He is a beauty. Here's the vintage one. <laughs> I found it for $20. And this is the most updated version of him, which is from Enesco with Little Norbert. I love him. I got the lamp from Noble Collection. This is from Funko. This actually barks if you like sense movement i'd have it turned off right now but my kids love this one i got the cake which was made by the fantastic things and i got the little monster book that will actually bite and like run around it's from universal studios so that's hagrid's shelf last but not least oh i actually have my department 56 castle here also lights up if you connect it um, these are all the mystery ones. These are the ones that you can find in Target or Walmart um, that are more suitable for kids. Um, my pops. And let's see, Dumbledore's shelf. I got the Hogwarts from Funko, that um, Owl Lectern from Star Ace. I did not actually bought the Star Ace Dumbledore. It's going for like $700, $800. I just found that piece on eBay and bought it. Um, Dumbledore's hat from Elope. It goes for like $32. I bought it from a fellow Potter head for like 10 bucks. My Pottery Barn um, Lemon Sherbet <laughs> Griffin. Um, I found him back in 2020 and they discontinued it and never like brought it back in stock. Uh, chocolate frog just because it has Dumbledore inside and my Dumbledore from Enesco. I also have my Gryffindor roses back there. 
I keep saying last but not least, but I have more shelves. Um, here is a little bit of a mess. I need to have more shelves. Between Fantastic Beasts, as you guys can see, I have the Okami. Let me turn on the light. Okay. I have the Okami. I have the Niffler. I got Grindelwald with a Thestral. I got the clock, the Magical Thread clock from the Ministry in New York. Um, I got Grindelwald's little necklace here. I got the Thunderbird. I, I have the Gringotts part of my shelf. This is Department 56. This is a piggy bank. This is the Hallmark one. And this um, Gringotts, how do you call that? Oh my God, this Gringotts thing is by Wizard Alley and the Golden Bars are bought in Universal. They're also available in the Harry Potter shop from UK. And that little goblin is from Noble Collection as well. The dragon is from Department 56 vault the word is vault that little vault is by wizard alley in this shelf you can see i have the lego castle with a couple of legos in it this is um by department 56 as well it's part of like the christmas village um this is the hagrid hut from department 56 also lights up if you connect it and here i have most of my harry potter funka pops as you guys can see, I have them a little bit spread out through the collection, but most of them are just sitting here out of their boxes because that's how I love them the most. When it comes to the books, you guys know I have different book sets. These are from Thailand, 20th anniversary. I did a whole video on them. It's so beautiful, the covers. Um, these are from UK. These are the original ones. These are the original ones with different dust jackets. Another version of the Mina Lima ones because these are signed by Mina Lima. I don't read those. I just don't touch those. Um, here I have a Spanish version. These are the ones I was raised on. <laughs> these are the illustrated by Jim K. These are the new film vault collection. A couple of other, you know, behind the scenes kind of books. These are, let me try to remember. I don't remember what language is this one, but the covers are gorgeous. These are also the original American ones, just with the nerdy ink dust jackets. And this is a pop-up book. Here I have a little book nook that I found in Facebook Marketplace. Um, I got the German 20th anniversary books. Also the American books, just with Juniper um, dust jackets. Uh, these are the Gryffindor box set for their anniversary love it um these are in spanish they are paperback they are kind of like the same covers as those and this is the slovak book, book set for the 20th anniversary beautiful covers as well and last but not least we got some german books american books also american these are paperback the movies in dvd we got um, Tales of Beetle the Bar, Fantastic Beast, um, another version of Sorcerer Stone in Spanish. We got Cursed Child here. Um, we got La Piedra Filosofal, which means Sorcerer Stone in Spanish with the four houses. This is the Escolastic um, School Market Edition. Found it on Facebook Marketplace. Love it. Let's leave it right here. Here we have the most colorful, like with the neon colors, um, book set. I think this is also from the UK and the original is from UK. On here we have Crimson Grindelwald, Calling All the Witches. And that is pretty much on books, which is what I have as the last part of my shelves. Okay, this wall has the Quidditch flags along with my Quidditch illustration that I you can find in Amazon for like $20. Gryffindor Crest, um, Don't Let the Muggles Get You Down, The Fat Lady, a friend from, from there yesterday, Sirius Black. So I got a couple of things here that I still haven't found the space for it. Um, this I found in Home Goods or TJ Maxx. It reminds me of something you would see on Dumbledore's office. I got Nagini here. She's actually an earrings holder from Pottery Barn team. I got the Quibbler framed. Um, this is the NECA Hogwarts Express frame. Um, this is the Conquest Journal replica. This is actually an album you can put pictures on. Um, this one is from Conquest Journals. 
I love it. It represents the album that Hagrid gave Harry on the first uh, book or movie. Um, this is the one that fell yesterday from my wall. And then I have a couple of mirrors of every set right here that I want to just put all together in one same wall eventually. And the map that they give you, um, they gave the annual pass holders from the Universal Studios Wizarding World. Okay, I think that's it. I think it's so crazy that I was like, this video is going to be like five minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry if it took way too long. Um, I just have a lot of stuff. I have the coffee mug display that I didn't show in this video. It's going to be outside. I'm going to show it completely when it's on my Instagram channel. I'll probably maybe do a YouTube video on it eventually. And I got a new fox from the Noble Collection that I'm going to open. A handmade one that I bought like two days after I got that one. I got a new Dolby, a new Mandrake. I got a couple things that I'm going to be opening in the next few days, weeks. So just stay tuned to the channel. Stay tuned to my Instagram, also Geogenomies. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let me know which one was your favorite part of this whole room. I honestly have been loving this a lot, but I don't, I don't have a favorite part. I love it all. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.